Rahmanir Raheem, Atiullah, Ati Rasul, Aul Al Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Aji Sada'i for miskeen of Zal and Jaha and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us a, a life to see these holy nights, that the holy birth of Imam Al Husayn as salam in the month of Shabban, the birth of Imam Al Abbas as salam and the birth of Imam Zainullah Abideen as salam in Shabban and a dressing and a blessing that to observe their love and to observe their life and their good character and this example of ishq and love, minhi wa minhum that Prophet gave to us as a secret that Imam Husayn as salam, Sayyidina Ali as salam, all of them Prophet describing that they are from me and I am from them. Min hi wa min hum, and their love, their ishq, their reverence is such a important part of our deen and our love and our way of love to love the holy companions and to love the Ahlul Bayt and to remember their example and their character, their strugglings in life and everything that they went through is a completion of our own faith that Allah grant us a ni'mat and a blessing and that Prophet be happy and pleased with us and to dress us and bless us with that ishq and that love. Wa minhi wa minhum is an immense reality that you be with whom you love and whom you love will emanate through you. Means that hadith and, and Prophet describing to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, you be with whom you love. And we talked about that and its reality through the reality of the birth of Imam Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and salam. And when it comes to the birth of an Imam Husayn as salam, minhi wa minhum that Prophet described the same hadith in a different way for us to contemplate. That you be with whom you love and more, more powerful is that whom you love will be with you and will emanate through you and was giving them an example to the community that this family of mine I love them and their love for me is is that they're in my heart, they're in my, my wujud, in my being, in my ishq that I love them dearly and I leave them to the community as a mercy and as a blessing. And when you love them and you respect them, you'll find me within them. And that is the immensity of these blessings of light and the understanding of energy and the world of light, that we come to love them. And as a result of that love it fills our heart with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and because we love whom he loves. We, we want to, to be in that presence and we want Allah's satisfaction to be upon us and Allah gives us a gift, there's always a gift in this path of love and ishq. That when you love somebody, you love somebody, you love somebody and somebody who gave their life for the Muhammadan reality means he struggled and strived with his family, with his wealth, with his possession, with his entire being to show his love for Allah and his immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad not to let his grandfather down. So that's a, a big source of love. When you draw near to that character, that personality, that reality of who Imam Husayn is and what he represents of an immense love for Prophet As a result of moving near them we begin to find the reality of Prophet within them. As we draw near to that love we draw closer to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that his identity hidden within them, his, his love within them. That where are you going to find that love? On the outside, in the market, at a store, 
but draw near to what he loves and whom he loved. And when you love them, Allah gives a treasure within their heart, within their soul that what you find within them is the reality of Prophet Many wa minhum is from me but most importantly because he's from me you love him if you are a Muhammadiyoon. And as a result of loving him Allah will give you a treasure that you'll find the love and the reality of Prophet blooming within that reality. And it becomes a fountain and an ocean of perfection to dress us, to bless us as a bounty and a reward upon our souls. We pray that Allah by means of this love and by means of these holy nights and by means of these good deeds of feeding people in their name, supporting in their name, giving charity in their name, teaching in their name, that we draw clear, we draw near to their love and that we, we grant, we granted their nazar to be upon us as a result of drawing near to that reality that we find the reality of Prophet there to greet us and to dress us, to intercede upon us and that to admit to ourselves that we're nothing. We have no amal, no action, no nothing of any value and all that we hope for is their intercession. That Prophet intercede upon ourselves, our family and our communities and that his ishq and his love save us and take away every type of difficulty from us. In days of difficulty that we see so clearly within our heart that are emanating everywhere. There is no place to hide, there is no place to run, there is no shelter to, to seek other than Allah's rahmah and mercy. And the greatest mercy and rahmah of Allah is in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad. That his, his nazar be upon us all and that these holy nights dress us. That Allah watch over us and prepare for us what's good and written. Ya Rabbi, whatever you have good in store for us, we're in need of it. Whatever good is written for us, for this for shabab of goodness, of good health of good rizq and most of all of good faith that the hour is near and the oceans of difficulty immense, that Allah complete His ni'mat and His favours upon our soul and that He grant us yaqeen, Islam, Iman wal Maqam al ihsan and yaqeen, ilmu yaqeen, aynu yaqeen wa haqq yaqeen and that Allah complete and strengthen our favour, our, our faith so that whatever difficulties come that Allah with us, Allah dress us, bless us and with that immense love and dressing of Sayyidina Muhammad we pray that Allah to be happy with us and bless us. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amman yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa, Siddha Surat al-Fatiha.